Hi, my name is Mary Scanlon, and this is my seventh book critique. My featured text is The Tale of Despero. This is a story about a mouse named Despero who is born in a palace. He doesn't like doing regular mouse things such as hunting for food. Instead, he likes to read and talk. And throughout the novel, um, Despero meets the Princess P, who is the princess of the palace, and has a conversation with her and falls in love with her. And this disturbs the other mice in the community and Despero is put on trial and later on he's sent to the dungeon. So I really loved this book because we read it in this class and I read it when I was little so I have really fond memories of it and I just think it's really fun because it's an animal fantasy book and the main character is obviously Despero who's speaking as a mouse. So it just, this book focuses on so many cool topics such as like lightness and darkness and despair and it just really draws upon um, kind of justice. So I just thought this book was really interesting. It's so cool to see how it can be used in so many different grade levels. It's, I would use it in a fourth grade classroom, but we read it in college. So I just think there's so much to gain from every grade that you implement it in. So the first um, lesson plan I would do with it is an English lesson and I would have my students read the book and then I would use flipbook to create summaries for each chapter. So this would be a way of assessing my students and I would have them include graphics and designs to illustrate the scenes shown throughout the book. And each child, if my classroom was small enough, would be assigned a certain chapter and then they would send their finished flip book to the whole class so that the other classmates would have a summary of the of the whole book by the end. So here's an example and I just thought this was so cool to do as a class. Um, it's very creative and so I would first divide my book up into sections. So the first section is Despero is born. The second one is Despero meets Princess P. The third one, Despero is put on trial. And the fourth one, Despero is sent to the dungeon. So then I would tell the story of Despero being born. Despero is a little mouse that is born in a palace. So I just thought this was a really cool activity because it allows you to kind of create the story as your own. And you can create a title for the chapter, which is kind of down here, but you could make it more in-depth. Um, you could add art to it, which I think is really cool, all the different illustrations. So it just gives your students a lot of tools to um kind of make the book come to life in their own words. So they would share this with each other. So for a fourth grade vocabulary lesson, I would divide my class into sections as well as the book. And I would have my students in their different groups create wordles. So I would have them pick words that they thought were important or that they didn't really understand throughout the text. And then I would have them, you know, look up the definitions, try and find out what they mean on their own, and then, um, combine the definition and the wordle and put it on the class blog so that they all have an understanding so it could be like a little vocab book for the for the tale of Despero. So I'll show you the wordle that I created myself and it's right here. So the words that I picked out of the text were um, diplomat, irony, despair, treacherous, decree, tragic, abyss, and courtesy. So I thought all these words, um, fourth graders might not understand them, so they could create a little vocabulary book to go along with the novel. The next four books that I chose I have all read myself. So The Island of the Blue Dolphins, I read this book when I was younger and I really just loved this book because I'm from California so it was very relevant to me about the ocean and the coastline and stuff like that. So it's about a little girl um, and her siblings on this island. And I would love to incorporate this into my class because I think it's a very good multicultural book. Um, and it's very exciting and cool. And Shiloh, it's just, it shows the um, loyalty between a dog and a little boy. It's a realistic fiction and it really kind of just 
pulls on your heartstrings because this little boy is trying to defend this dog. So I thought this was really cute. This might be um, really interesting for children who are animal lovers. And Henry's Freedom Box, I've heard of this before, but it was introduced in our class, and it's a historical fiction book that I would use to talk about the Underground Railroad um, and talk about, you know, the art in the book and the illustrations. They just are really um, intriguing and just kind of draw you into the book, especially with the stance that Henry has on the front page. And then Zin, 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 A Violin. I thought this book was so cute. Caroline Real actually read this as her read aloud in class, and I thought it would be really fun to um, read this book to a small class of students and then maybe take them to a musical or a symphony and allow the book to kind of come to life because it talks about all the different instruments. So I thought this was a really good informational book to use in a classroom. So this is the end of my book's critique number seven. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you can use these books in your future classroom. Thank you.